Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to the Sedona International Film Festival. I'm your host, Carol Kahn. We are coming to you live from Sedona Rouge Hotel and Spa, and Sedona Rouge is one of our sponsors, along with Broadcast Rentals and Sedona Advertising Agency. We'd like to thank our sponsors for participating in this year's festival. And ladies, I'd like to introduce, I'd like you to introduce yourselves, please, and your film. Uh, my name's Lauren Davis, and um, I'm the director of One Hot Day. Hi, I'm Julie Phillips, and I am the writer, producer, and actress. And I'm the hot, I'm the hot person in the You're the hot movie. mama in the person <laughs> in the film. Yes. Well, it was such a delightful film to watch, so why don't you um, give us just a synopsis of it before we actually take a look at the um the preview of it. Why don't you, you're the writer, why okay. don't you go I'll ahead and I'll give you that. my brief synopsis. Mm -hmm. It is basically the day in life of a woman who is menopausal, having hot flashes, and sort of at that time in her life with her husband where there's not a lot of passion, and so the day's not going very well. She's having this hot flash, that hot flash. She is leaving a um, homeowners association meeting and thinks that she's getting hit on. Um, by this hot guy, and really he's a carjacker. So her day just goes from bad to worse, and then goes home and sort of has it out with her husband. And uh, so that's 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 about it in a nutshell. Yeah. Well, let's take a look at the clip, and then we'll talk more about it. Okay. No, no, I don't want you to turn the air up. I want passion. I'm hot. Are you hot? I'm just so fucking hot all the time. You're pretending to be on the phone. Why would you do that? What? What do you want? I mean, I've been going to the gym a lot recently. Really? That is not a compliment. You look hot. Really? Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. That was great. It gets a laugh from everyone that sees it, too, so. Yeah, it's very delightful. So is this your first time in Sedona? Yes. Yes. It's Both beautiful. And the first time at the film festival? And the first time at the film festival, and I have to say, before we even got here, we're in love with this festival. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's, yes. We, like, just everything. From like, the minute we yeah. got accepted, you it's just, you guys are amazing. You guys are amazing. <laughs> thank you for everything. No, thank you for, for doing this. Now, um, let's talk a little bit about um, your film history. What else have you you've done? Well... <laughs> so in a, in a nutshell, I was an actress when I was um, younger, like from like childhood until my teens, and then stopped and then came back in my 20s, and then stopped again for about 25 years until about 18, 19 months ago, um, going through menopause and hot flashes and just change of life, and my kids are getting older and about to move away. I decided I think I want to go back and do this again. And it's been amazing um, since I've been back, like 18 months. I, I, I think I've worked harder than I did. I, I appreciate it more, and I'm working harder than I ever did, and I feel like there's so much more content. And back when I was an actress, when I was in my 20s, we weren't able to make our own movies. Like, it was, you know, you had film, and, and you, like, you weren't making things digitally, and you didn't have just the support group around you like I have now. And so I came back and I saw all the young kids were making their own movies. <laughs> so I'm like, I better do that. And I wrote it and knew Lauren through her husband and I are in class together and uh, sent it to her and she loved it. She said she wanted to direct it. So this is my first my first film that I've written, starred and produced um, since I've been back. But I've booked, I've like since I've been back, I did a... Um, uh, guest star on Young and the Restless. It's just been this this time around in, <laughs> in my 50s, 50s-ish. It's been um, amazing, really amazing. My story is similar to Julie's. I incidentally, I am having a hot flash right now. So <laughs> just, uh, you know, just to add some reality to the whole thing. Um, so, yes, I also, when I was younger, studied acting. I started as an actor and um, trained quite a bit and did, a, you know, a little bit of work when I was younger. Went, had a family, put most of my time towards that, and um, came back for, you know, a new chapter. And um, I think probably both of us encountered a lot of um, sort of this collective idea that we're washed up at this age. Yeah. And we're like, uh, no, no, we're not. So um, we just decided to take care of uh, the situation for ourselves. Yeah. And um, with this film, I mean, I've directed other um, 
shorts and I've directed some theater. Um, but we just decided to take the matter into our own hands and create our own content. And with this one, we did a lot ourselves. Yeah. You know, we each were wearing 10,000 hats on this project, not necessarily our first choice, but you know, we were doing it on a budget. And now we've actually since um, formed a production company. We're in uh, pre-production for something we start almost as soon as we get back to L.A., and we're gradually, you know, hiring more people and taking less off our plates so that we can focus on the things that we really love about it. So I think it's really interesting. I mean, now, you know, just like you said, starting a new chapter. I mean, you know, most people, you know, my daughter had asked me at one particular point, you know, mommy, are you going to think about retiring? And I just, I'm like, what? Yeah, <laughs> you no. know? Yeah. So it's almost yeah. like starting a whole new, like your career, but starting exactly. it all over again. Yes. But having the wisdom of my age now to really appreciate everything. And it's just, I've had more fun. I mean, it's been the hardest work, but they say when you're, when you do what you love, it doesn't feel like work. Um, and it's just been like amazing. Agreed. We're yeah. not really waiting for someone to give us permission to do what we're yeah. interested in doing. Right. I think ch things have changed and, and you're right. It's all about the wisdom because I think when we're younger, we take things, you know, that happen to us. Right. And oh, please, I fear. hope I get this. Right. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I hope I make this. It's yeah. really what it is now. Let's just go get it. Right. Instead of waiting for someone to offer it to us. And your next project, what are you working on? It's something I wrote, again, um, <laughs> I have a theme, um, you know, a woman, a divorced woman who is moving from one, like she, she lives in the same city as her, her adult son and she's moving to Los Angeles to be with her adult daughter and sort of going through a quote unquote a midlife crisis. But again, for me, I'm like, it's not a midlife crisis. It's actually like an awakening of, oh, this is who I am. This is what I've always wanted to do. And it's not a crisis. It's, it's, you know, it's, it is, it's yeah. an awakening. So anyway, her, but her son and her daughter are like, no, you can't travel by yourself. So they have a friend that's going and he's like this millennial 30 something kind of opposites. It's a buddy movie. It's basically it's a, a road trip movie. It's a road trip buddy movie. And they both kind of grow and learn through each other. Yeah. And she kind of helps him. And, and it's, a, it's, it, what's lovely is because I'm in this class in this community of artists and actors and stuff, it's somebody I'm in acting class with. Um, who's just a fantastic actor. And he kind of wanted to, he, when I wrote it, I'm like, I don't know, Cody, if you'll like this or not. And he read it and he was just like, you write like John Hughes. I love it. I want to <laughs> do it. And he sort of jumped on the producing bandwagon. Mm -hmm. So it's been, um, it's been amazing. So it's called yeah. Judd and Nancy Across America and Lauren is directing it. And I love Julie's writing. And so every time I read something of hers, I'm like, do you have a director yet? <laughs> <laughs> I would love to direct this. So... I think we're going to see a lot of you two ladies. Yeah. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. Hopefully, yes. Yeah. And your film hasn't shown yet, but it's being shown today? Correct. Yes. This afternoon, yep. And what time do you remember? 4.15, yeah, I, I think. Yeah, I think it's 4.15. It's 15. right before um, the... Um, it's what about Adolf? What about which Adolf? we're also really looking we're so forward to. We're so excited to see. I just, the great. title alone, I'm like, you had me at What About Adolf. I don't care what it's about. <laughs> <laughs> and how can people find out about your film? Uh, we have a website, One Hot Day Film. We are on Instagram, One Hot Day at One Hot Day Film, um, and Facebook. Facebook, One Hot Day Film. Everything is just basically. If you go to at One Hot Day Film, you will find us. Yes. We're okay. also our production company is Hey Lady um, Films at Hey Lady Films. Gotcha. Yeah, All right. So. Well, I don't want to lose sight of you, too. I think you're Thank going to be you. fun to, to watch and hang out with. Thank, <laughs> Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you so you. much for having us. Yeah. Well, we look forward to more. And if you're following us on social media, don't forget it's hashtag Sedona Film Fest 2020 and hashtag Sedona Film Fest 26. We'll be back with more filmmaker interviews after this.